Hello, my name is Oliver Davis, and today I wanted to chat briefly about my connection with ballet music. Um, I'm sometimes asked about where, where did all of that begin. Uh, well, it began uh, with a, a choreographer and dancer with the Royal Ballet called Erica Montez, who took a few of my uh, cello, pieces for uh, cello and piano and turned them into a ballet um, called Within the Hours. And I totally instantly fell in love with the whole process of how a ballet was made. And so from that point, I was kind of hooked. Um, but it wasn't until about 2015, I, I created an album, released an album um, called Flight. And about a year after its release, I was contacted by Tulsa Ballet in Oklahoma. And they had asked, could uh, they create a user I think about six, seven pieces of music from that album, Flight, and turn it into a ballet to be choreographed by Ma Kong. And so um, I decided to go to Oklahoma, and I flew there and, and went and saw the, the ballet called Flight of Fancy. And again, I was really sort of fascinated by how the choreographer had um, listened to the music and interpreted that into dance. Um, and the next, I think that was, uh, about a year later, I was contacted by New York City Ballet and uh, Peter Walker wanted to uh, create a ballet uh, which is called Dance Odyssey. Um, and again, really, really loved the process of that. And I was a little bit more involved with the process. That this time I, we were discussing uh, the order of how the tracks were going to work and so on. And this was mainly from my album called Dance. I think it was all from Dance, actually. Um, so that was really exciting to be involved with. Um, it was shortly after that that Edouard Liang, um, uh, obviously a, a choreographer with huge profile in America and, and uh, overseas, he um, had heard my music and asked whether I would be interested in writing a piece of music uh, for the Unbound Festival. Um, Unbound is a festival uh, created by San Francisco Ballet um, and so San Francisco Ballet commissioned me to write a piece um, and Edward, uh, it was what was really interesting then is that I was writing, writing from scratch. Um, he knew my style in music but he had loads of ideas to, to, in terms of the form and how long it should be and pas de deux and all these kind of things. So I was, I was kind of, to be honest, I was learning on the job, um, but I loved it all. Um, and it was, it was a really inspiring relationship that, that this, this uh, commission sparked. And we worked together uh, once we completed the Infinite Ocean, which is what he called it. Um, we then worked together uh, for, uh, uh, for a ballet for Ballet West and um, Singapore Dance Theatre and New York City Ballet's uh, Fashion Ball Gala. Um, we have uh, a ballet in the future for um, Pacific Northwest Ballet, which I'm very excited about when, when the pandemic is over. And again, with, with PMB, um, I was fortunate to work with Matthew Neenan, who um, created a beautiful work called uh, Backers. So, um, but one of the questions that comes up is why choreographers are drawn to my music. And obviously, you need to ask them that really. But I suppose um, perhaps it's because it's uh, it always even my slow movements have a sense of pulse to them. Uh, they're, they're very rhythmic. Um, and I'm unsure why the rhythm in my music is attractive to, to choreographers, but um, I think that's that, that and the fact that the length of each uh, piece, each movement, they aren't like sort of 20 minutes long. They're often three or four minutes long. So I suppose it, on a practical level, um, it's, it's quite uh, something that's uh, attractive to a choreographer putting together a, a sort of half hour or 25 minute ballet so um, that that I think is one of the features uh, of, of why my music is used um, so yeah so this is that's a sort of a, a brief summary of my my involvement in ballet I'm very looking forward to the end of the pandemic and and working again with choreographers and uh, thank you very much for watching